Ciao a tutti, benvenuti nel mio canale. Mi chiamo Preziosa e oggi parlo di Italia. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel again. It's your precious babe Bella Preci. Now, if you're new on my channel, you're very welcome. Please do well to subscribe. And if you're an old returning subscriber, thank you so much for always stopping by. I love you guys. Now guys, today's video is going to be all about if you're on that note. Ciao! Come state? Now guys, I'm going to be telling you guys everything about Italy based on my tech year experience yes guys I've lived in Italy for over 10 years and I'm close to 11 years in September I'll be completing 11 years here in Italy now today's video is a collaboration with a Dubai based youtuber now this lady in question is very bubbly very outgoing super beautiful and so smart and I'm talking about no other than Prudence at Pinoco. Now she's a beauty lifestyle vlogger and also an author. So guys, please, as soon as you watch this video, head on straight to her channel. The link is going to be in my description box where she's going to be telling us everything we need to know about visiting the UAE, traveling to the UAE. So please guys, please, 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 head on to watch that video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm begging you guys, thank you so much. Okay, so guys, adesso dobbiamo parlare di Italia. So let's head on straight right to to the video. Gonna let you guys know about Italy is that the main language over here in Italy is Italian and the Italians call it Italiano. So before you come to Italy, you have to just educate yourself on just the simple basic conversational word you might need to know to make your entry easy into Italy. So you can easily learn ciao, which means hi bye. Um, you can learn come ti chiami, what's your name and be able to respond and say mi chiamo blah 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 mi chiamo precious so these are like the basic things you need to learn arrivederci which means till we see you again all of the simple words so these are the first basic things you might need to learn upon arriving to Italy now another important thing about Italy you need to know is the currency of course here in Italy we use the euro and now we have put the coins and the bills amongst the coins we have the one euro and the two euro and then we have the cents which range from one cent to two cents 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents and 50 cents and amongst the bills we have 5 euro, 10 euro, 20 euro, 50 euro, 100 euro, 200 euro and then the 500 euro note which is about the highest note. Okay guys so it's important you know that you're very sorted out upon arrival in Italy whenever you come to Italy at the airport at the central train stations you would always get a money exchange shop nearby just a stone throw away so you don't have to be worried there's always a bureau to change a money exchange office to sort you out so whichever way you want to go you can go to the classic locals you can get your money exchange from the locals or you can get it from the official offices within the airport and within the central train stations if not you can go outside to get your money exchange from the locals but trust me it's always safer to get it from the money exchange shops within the central stations and the airports now. Another important thing you need to know about Italy is the food. It's cheap or now. Italy has the best delicacy in the world as far as I'm concerned and most people can attest to this fact. Now, Italians love their food. Is it the Bugatini di Roma? Is it the lasagna di Bologna? Is it the tiramisu di Napoli? Now, Italy is rich in culture, rich in history. There's so many beautiful things to say about Italy and trust me, it would take, you know how they say Rome was not built in a day? And think of Italy, it was not even built in a month or two. Now guys, everything I'm going to be telling you in this video is based on my 10 years experience living in Rome and touring some other cities here in Italy. So far I've been to cities like Milan, Ancona, Parma, Nap Napoli. So I'm just going to be talking based on my experience in these cities and living in Rome. Okay, Italians love food so much. This is why most parts of Italy have designated foods which they are known for. This is why many cities of Italy have a particular season where they celebrate the feast of that particular food which is known as La Sagra. Sagra. So you can get Sagra di Ciliegi, di Maenza, that's like the cherry festival of a city known as Maenza. You can get the Sagra di Focaccia, Sagra di Questa, Sagra di every food. So it's just like a festival for a particular food. This is how much Italians love their food. 
in as much as Italians love food, they don't like to go heavy on their breakfast. They love their simple breakfast with croissants, which we know as brioche here, and also they love to have coffee and cappuccino as well, or any latte, macchiato, whichever one, but they just love to have simple croissants and a cup of coffee, cappuccino, or any of the other teas they can have. Unlike the classic British breakfast where you have a plate of scrambled eggs, toast, bacon, baked beans and all of that good stuff, Italians don't like none of that. They just want their simple brioche and tea. And tea, coffee, cappuccino, any of that good stuff. But when it comes to their main meal, the lunch or dinner, they like to go all out now. They have a three course meal for the first uh, meal which is known as primo piatto where they have pasta now. Or like in Nigeria where you have rice as a staple food. Here in Italy, the staple food is mainly pasta. They have every kind of pasta you want to think about. The bugatini, the um, spaghetti, the um, they have the fuseli, the raffale, the bugatini, the every kind of pasta you want to think about. The Italians have them. So pasta is the staple food here in Italy. Like when I first came to Italy, I always wondered like why does every single important or staple food here in Italy start with a P? The pasta, the pizza, the panne, the patate. <laughs> Pomodoro, for example, like I just kept wondering, like, why does everything start with a P here in Italy? Funny enough, it's actually a fun fact. So they like to have the primo piatto, which consists of pasta, then the secondo piatto, which is the second plate, which would always have like meats, and then there's the contorno, which consists of vegetables, and then at times they can have the dessert, though, which is always like the dessert. Another important thing to talk about is the transportation here in Italy. The transportation system here in Italy is good enough but you have to have your money of course taxes are very very expensive here in italy as compared to other european countries now the taxi you would get in the uk for about 10 pounds you get it here in italy for about 17 pounds yes the uber be it the taxi uber taxify they're very they're pretty pretty expensive here in italy you just have to know this now in italy you can the fast trains or the slow trains now the fast trains are the ones that take you from region to region, like from the north, for example, from Milan down to Naples, Napoli. Examples of the fast trains here in Italy include the Freccia Rosa, Freccia Argento, Italo. These are super fast trains and that can travel from the north to the south in about 3-4 hours. The tickets in high season cost around 80 to 100 euros and in low season, if you book on time, you can easily get your tickets for as little as 28 euros down to 40 euros. So the booking time is what's very important. The slow trains can move from one region to the other but most of the time they just move within a region like within Lazio. Now Lazio is the region in which we have the city called Rome. I know Rome is known as the capital of Italy but Rome is actually in the Regione Lazio. Now within Lazio you have different slow trains that move from one part of Lazio to another part of Lazio like Rome which is the center to Latina which is another part of Lazio so this is one thing you need to know then we have like the transport system the attack the attack and the TPL here in Rome for example now, now for every hundred meter there's a bus stop for every hundred hundred and fifty meter there's a bus stop so getting access to the bus is pretty easy live in a connected area it's very easy to, to hop on the bus so many workers here in Italy actually move around without cars because the transport system is very well simplified for everybody so most people just leave their cars at home and hop on the metros and on the buses now for the buses and the metros you would need to use your tickets for example in Rome where I live you have three metro lines the metro A, B and C now you need to have a ticket is this ticket which is the attack ticket now the attack ticket for example here in Rome um, now this ticket actually can be used when validated for about 100 minutes when you validate it on a bus you can use it on the metro as well as far as it's within the whole frame of a hundred minutes always a bus to take you to your destination now the main buses in the city centers the drivers do not sell tickets so it's important you buy your tickets at the metro stations at the metro stations in offices like this you can get the tickets at the metro stations or within every district you can find famous shop known as the tabakeria let's talk about hotels now the classic hotel rooms here in Italy are pretty small as compared to other countries prices depend on the season now in high season you can get a hotel room for a night for as cheap as 150 euros but if you book on time and when you come in low season by low season I mean when you come in times where there are less tourists in Italy that's 
not in summer probably around december during the winter period not in summer summer period is famously known as the high season here in italy where the hotels are so happy to actually hype the prices because obviously everybody wants to be in italy at that point to come enjoy the italian sun so um it's advisable you book your tickets as early as possible as in low season you can get your tickets for as cheap as 50 euro per night and then for the apartment even in high season you can get your rooms for as cheap as 50 60 euro per night depending the apartments are always cheaper than the hotel rooms just so you know this i've lived in rome and i've also been to milan and i must tell you you must pay a city tax regardless of the amount of money you've paid for your hotel room you also have to pay a city tax which is not inclusive with the payment you've paid for the hotel room now italy charges each person per head about seven to eight euros so the hotels like to get this money in cash directly from you all of this information I've given so far will be important for a tourist who is trying to visit Italy for the first time and also for a person moving now for now I'm going to be moving on to the important stuff I'm going to be talking about visa procurement and getting the resident permit that's the permit of stay to procure your visa it's important to get the necessary information not just the necessary information but the correct information from the right people now i did my i got my visa many many years ago actually i got the there are different kinds of visas to come to italy you have the tourist visa you have the work visa and now you have the family reunion visa i was lucky to come to it with the family visa now i've studied here schooled in italy i've worked in italy i've been married in italy i've started a family in italy so so trust me when i say i'm experienced and i understand the italian system as well as i can so for the visa procurement you can easily start by getting the form at the italian embassy website of your country so you download the form fill in the form as usual and it's always important you fill the form with like uppercase using capital letters it's very very important Another important things you need to have is your recent passport photographs you need to have your international passport have an affidavit signed you have to have your bank statement stating you're financially capable to to take care of your travel and accommodation you have to have proof of accommodation as well from your hotel of stay which you can easily do at book.com now the good thing about booking.com this video is totally not sponsored by any of the names i'm actually calling right now okay you can actually get your accommodation by booking or booking.com the good thing about booking.com is you can always cancel whenever you want to come as far as you don't get to the deadline medical insurance your bank account statement to get a statement of employment from your um, office back home in Nigeria or in any other country you'll be coming from if you own a business of your own you need to have a tax payer certificate to certify that you indeed pay taxes for a business you own if you're coming to Italy to school as a student, it's important you have your declaration of value. It's called Dichiarazione di Valore, where you go to the embassy, which you, which is your certificates for my country, Nigeria. You, you have to have your GCE, YF, or NECO results. You take it to um, you go, you take it to lawyers to legalize it, and then take it to the embassy where they do the declaration of value, where they declare the value of this document. And with this, upon getting application with the university here, you can easily move over to study also it's important to have your statement of account as a student obviously you, you you most likely might not have that money so you need your parents or any guardian to attest to you having the financial capability to come over to school now it's also important you know that it quickly offers many courses in english you can have medicine at the university of pavia you can have medicine at the university of sapienza here in rome you can study pharmacy like i did at the university of rome Torregata. you can study economics and management at the university of Foscari in venice you can study global governance in rome as in the university of rome Torregata. so many other courses also that i cannot remember right now in this but so studying in English in Italy is very very possible finally I would like to talk about the permit of stay in Italy which is the permesso di soggiorno permesso di soggiorno simply means permit of stay eight days after arriving in Italy it's important you go to the questura for your permit of stay and the questura is the police headquarters you have to go do your turn printing to get your permit of sojourner because your visa is not considered a permit of stay here in Italy. You need your permit of stay to give you access to work, to school, and um, to get benefits and as well to just 
Travel other parts of Italy freely now. If you've lived in Italy for five years having the permesso di soggiorno, you are thereby qualified to apply for the carta di soggiorno. Now, the difference between the carta di soggiorno and the permesso di soggiorno is that the permit or stay is renewed every two years or one year, depending on the kind of um, permit of stay you have. So, for students, um, for people with student um, permit of stay, um, they actually get their permit of stay renewed every one year. Some people have it so bad that it gets renewed every six months. And some people have, some people are lucky to have two years. Now, in Italy, you get your permit of stay renewed every two years or one year. Upon completing five years in Italy, you're qualified to have the Carta di Soggiorno, which is a permanent permit of stay that permits you to live in Italy for life. The only disadvantage is that you'd have to renew it every five years just for the purpose of renewing your picture. Now, one very important thing you need to know if you're moving to Italy and if you're planning to have a family is when you have the permit of stay and you have kids born here in Italy, your kids are not allowed to have access to the Italian passport, not up until they are 18 years or, or until you have the Italian passport. Um, when you give birth to kids, you would always have to renew with your children. You'd always have to renew your carta di soggiorno, that's your permanent permit of stay with your children every two years up until they complete five years. Finally, I'll talk about jobs in Italy. Getting jobs in Italy, as far as you have the permit of stay, or you have a working visa, or you have the carta di soggiorno, getting a job in Italy is super, super easy. You can easily find jobs at agencies such as um, Adeco, Manpower. There are so many job agencies littered about. Or you can also check online. There are job agencies online like Indeed, Subito, so many jobs. It's easy. Getting a job in Italy is not even hard at all. You can easily get access to job as far as you have the right documents. You can easily get a job. Okay, my final advice to whoever would be visiting Italy or moving over to Italy is don't let the reputation of Italy based on racism stop you from coming to Italy. Trust me, the people are warm, the culture is beautiful, the history is just mind-blowing. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Italy. Please don't forget to head over to Prudence Apinoko's channel to go watch that video, watch her talk about the UAE and please subscribe to our channel as well, okay? If you're coming over from Prudence Apinoko's channel, please do well to subscribe, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Till next time, grazie mille, grazie ed arrivederci. Ciao. Bye, guys.